Hello everyone. Uh, this is the demo session and myself Madhuri. I'm your faculty for Unix Linux shell scripting course. This course is shell scripting. And duration for this course is 30 days. And this is the minimum time. Sometimes I may take uh, extra one week like that. Okay. Classes will be timings, the timings. ten a.m. to 11 a.m. This is the class timing. So this is the regular class timing. Only this week demos will be there. And this is the timing for demo. Okay. So once the classes starts, the classes will be from 10 a.m. only. Regular classes are from 10 a.m. 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. Okay. So. This Monday to Friday. Classes will be held from Monday to Friday. And you can contact me through Telegram. So you'll get the Telegram link. Once you join for, with this course, if you paid and you register with this course, means you'll get the Telegram link. Uh, that is not the public link. You'll get the sub, uh, private link, which is for only this bad student. So there I will share the notes regularly. Whatever the topics I'm explaining, I'll make a note and I will share on Telegram group. Once everyone joined into Telegram group, so I'll start sharing the notes on Telegram group. So daily, today if I explain something means, so on the day itself, I'll uh, maybe after the class immediately, I'll update the notes to your Telegram. Okay, I'll not take much time. I will immediately update to Telegram groups. But everyone, once everyone joined, then I'll start updating the notes to Telegram group. Okay, so regularly, Notes I will share on the Telegram group. Whatever topics I'm explaining, everything I will share to Telegram. Practical steps, whatever I'm showing you. So that I will share to Telegram. Okay. And you'll get the recording videos also. Recording videos. Durga Soft team will send the recording videos. And uh, they'll give six months validity to access the recording videos. Okay. Regarding the recording videos, Durga Soft is responsible. So, anything is there issues, you can talk to them only. But I am responsible only to share the notes and my Telegram group where you are going to add that group, no time limit, that is permanent group. So, whenever you have any doubts, you can message me on the Telegram group uh, in future and present also. Uh, if you're facing any issue, any command is not working or you're unable to understand something, the point is not clear. So anytime you can message me on the Telegram also, not only on Telegram, in classroom also, if something command I'm explaining, something I'm showing, if it is not clear, you can ask me. There itself you can ask me, no need to wait. Uh, in the chat box, you can message me, I will read and I will respond. Okay, so... You can clarify the doubts there itself. I'll go the session slowly only. I will not skip anything. I'll not go fast. So because this Unix Linux shell scripting is designed for, basically it is designed for freshers, those who don't know anything. So I'll go slow. I'll make you to clear the points. Okay. So anyone have Linux knowledge here? Basic knowledge, Linux knowledge is there. Any working are there? Any working people are here? If you can't speak, you can message me on the chat box also. Susila, are you working? Kannapredi, are you working? If 
fine. So do you have Linux knowledge, basic knowledge is there? Any knowledge is it? Tanapanadi and Sushila, do you have Linux knowledge? Sravanti, you are my 10 a.m. student only, right? I'm just taking confirmation. Fine. So Linux and Unix shell scripting, this is. So here we'll cover the, as you are freshers, you don't know anything about Linux. Be, Instead of starting directly Linux admin is, uh, sorry, shell scripting. Instead of starting directly shell scripting. So writing the shell scripting and showing the output. Instead of that, I will start explaining from OS installation. Because Linux, we uh, shell scripting. If you want to work with shell scripting, first of all, you must install the operating system. It may be Unix or Linux operating system. You must install the operating system in order to practice shell scripting. It is not difficult. I'll show you how to install Linux operating system. Either Unix or Linux is sufficient. So I'll show you how to install the operating system. Once OS is installed, the basics of Linux I will give, like how to enter into operating system, how to create files, how to create directories, means folders, how to copy, how to move, how to delete. The basics I will explain because as you are fresher, so if I'm going from basics, very easily you can understand the concept. But remember, this is not Linux administration course. This is not complete Linux course. This is shell scripting course. In this, I will give basics of Linux. Okay. So, like, content what I am going to cover here is, today is just introduction, right? And next is, Features of Linux, like why Linux, why people are switching to Linux, why technologies are coming with Linux, why all the organizations are moving to Linux operating system. Because there are some features, advantages. What are the advantages are there in Linux that I will explain. See, future is there for Linux. All the technologies are coming with Linux, right? So why this Linux, why everyone are moving to Linux? So that futures I will explain here. Then... File system hierarchy model. Once we install operating system, Linux operating system, what we get along with the operating system? That I'll explain here. File system hierarchy. Okay. After this. OS installation, how to install the operating system, how to install Linux operating system that I will explain here, OS installation. Okay. Then, basic commands. I'll explain basic commands. It's so like after entering to the operating system, I mean, after installing the operating system, how to enter into the operating system, how to uh, switch from one interface to another interface, how to create files, how to delete files. So basics I'll explain because Linux is new to many, many people. So here I'll explain like 
creating files. Creating directories. Okay, copy command, move command, delete commands. Basics I'll explain here. So basics three days classes will be there. Once basics are completed, then basic shell commands or filter commands. These commands are used to check content of a file as per user requirement. So these commands I will explain here. And after that, user administration, how to create a user. And um, what is the purpose of creating the user? How to uh, delete the user? How to modify the user? That I'll explain here. Then group administration. What is group? How to create a group? When users are already there, what is the purpose of creating group again? How to modify the group? How to add users into that group? That I'll explain here. I'll go slowly only, point by point. Everything I'll explain theoretically and practically. Practically steps, whatever I'm explaining, I'll make a note and I will share that notes also. Okay, group administration. Then... file permissions so once a file uh, once a file is created it will comes with default permissions files and folders comes with default permissions okay so what is this permissions who can modify the permissions how to modify the per permissions what is the purpose of modifying the permissions that i will explain here then acls is nothing but advanced file permission it is used to modify um, it is advanced permissions, means using ACLs, we can apply the permission to a particular user or a particular group of people. Or we can change the ownership of a files or directories. So what is that? I will show you theoretically and practically. Okay. And once this is completed, I'll give introduction to kernel. I'll give introduction to kernel. Introduction to shell. Types of shell, advantage of shell. Okay, so what is the purpose of shell? That I'll explain. Means uh, from here the topics will come. Shell topics will start. Okay, like variables, Levels of variables means which type of commands are created by whom. Uh, some commands can be created. Uh, some commands comes along with the operating system. Default commands which we are using. Okay. And using shell, we can also create our own commands. So that I will explain here. In variables, I will explain that. read user input whatever we give we want to see the output of that okay so what is that i'll explain here parameters statements operators Relational operators, Relational operators, 
लॉजिकल ऑपरेटर्स अर्थमेटिक ऑपरेटर्स सो दिस टॉपिक्स वी आर गोइन अ कवर हियर ओके विल स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द बेसिक्स आई आई ऑलरेडी टोल यू दिस कोर्स इज डिजाइन फॉर फ्रेशर्स दो वट इज रिक्वायर्ड फॉर फ्रेशर लेवल for interviews or anything so that concept we are going to cover here this is unix or linux shell scripting this commands works in unix machines and linux machines okay so classes will be from 10 am to 11 am this is fixed timing is that timing is okay sushila Okay, can I pretty? Is the timing is okay for you? Fine. So tomorrow I will explain features of Linux. advantages is what we have in Linux, and if time permits, I'll also explain file system hierarchy. file system hierarchy means what are the default directories we get along with the operating system okay so that also i will try to cover in tomorrow session only today is just information what is what who is going to explain what i am going to explain the concept i told but tomorrow onwards classes will be there uh, topics i will explain attend the session if you are clear the way i explain you can continue with the session if there is any changes in tomorrow's class timing you will get we will let you know okay so thank you for the session we'll meet tomorrow